Mr. Yes, my name is Bernard Serval. Uh, I'm surprised, Your Honor, that you found this guilty. I'm surprised that the prosecutor uh, called for a maximum of 15 days in jail. Uh, so far in this trial, I've not heard any religious motivation for the religious environment involved. I'm a Roman Catholic priest for 44 years. And in the course of that time, I have studied uh, the position of our Catholic Church as well as the New Testament about violence and nonviolence. And very early on in the priesthood, it was very clear to me that Jesus was a nonviolent person and expected his disciples also to be nonviolent. However, over the course of the centuries, our Catholic Church has found wiggle room in that to such a degree that when uh, atom bombs were dropped on two Japanese cities, a Catholic chaplain actually prayed with the crew of the Enola Gay as they set off for that mission. However, that same chaplain, uh, Father George, years later realized that he had made a terrible mistake by enabling that crew to uh, carry that weapon of mass destruction over Japan. And he used the rest of his life to preach against nuclear weapons. Uh, Zavala and many others have brought our country, I believe, to the point where the majority want us to get rid of nukes. Why do I mention that? Because I'm a Catholic priest, and I know that there's a Catholic priest who's been appointed a chaplain uh, of Hancock, the people who work at Hancock Field. I find that very disturbing, but I also understand that sometimes these things take time to clarify. Um, therefore, I was willing on Good Friday, especially on Good Friday, to lay down on the entrance to Hancock Field because on that very same day, the Pope of the Catholic Church was saying that violence is not the solution, that it was not Jesus' way. I believe that eventually our country and our church will come to a clear understanding that weaponized drones are in the same position as we now consider nuclear weapons. I'll accept whatever fine jail sentence you would impose, but I would ask you to consider my professional obligations. I'm expected to be at the altar Saturday morning down in Pennsylvania. I'm a chaplain for a Catholic school in Pennsylvania. And every day, unless I have coverage, I have to celebrate the liturgy. You bring up an interesting point, and that's one of the points I made in my decision that throughout the years, or throughout history, there's been a lot of injustice um, in the name of peace, so to speak. Um, and I think you've raised those issues uh, historically. Um, I, I think going back, way back in history, um, you can even go back to the Crusades, you can go, you know, there's, a, there's always been a difference of opinion, particularly with the church. Um, and I understand the point you're making. It's a difficult point because there's some hypocrisy in both, you know, in that uh, in the institution because of that. Um, I don't know how to resolve that. And that's, I'm going to leave that up to you and your fellow clergy to resolve that in some manner. Um, I do notice that there are some priors in other states. However, um, it doesn't appear to be extensive record that I have here. Um, what I'm going to do concurrently on the disorderly conducts, I'm going to sentence you to a uh, one-year conditional discharge, conditions being staff, further trouble with the law. Further, um, I'm going to direct that you complete um, 25 hours community service with proof uh, to the court, honor before 29. 2012, I am going to impose a $250 fine, $125 surcharge, and will serve you with a summons with notice again. If you do not pay it by that date and there's a valid reason, you can request additional time. If it's just simply that uh, you do not wish to pay it out of protest, then it will convert to a civil judgment against you. Um, I would ask my court attendant to serve 
you and provide a copy to Mr. Van Norstrand. Um, you do have a right to appeal the sentence and judgment in this court. Yeah, um, to, in order to appeal the sentence and judgment in this court, you must file a notice of appeal within 30 days of today's date. And I direct Mr. Van Norstrand to assist you in completing that if you so desire. and understand 
you know, that you're going to continue with a civil disobedient manner, but again, you're going to have to expect that there's going to be consequences, whether it's this court or another court. Um, that's part of it. Sentencing judgment is going to be a one-year conditional discharge, conditions being scattered for the trouble with the criminal justice system, further condition, 25 hours community service, with proof to the court honored before 229-2012 at 5 o'clock p.m. I am going to impose a $250 fine, $125 surcharge. I will serve you with a summons with notice um, that if you do not um, pay that by that date without a valid reason asking for an extension, then it will convert to a civil judgment which may affect your credit rating uh, and or your loan uh, ability to get loan. Um, you do have a right to appeal the sentencing judgment of this court. To do so, you must file a notice of appeal within 30 days and direct your attorney to remain in the case in 